South Africa has battled sporadic foot and mouth outbreaks among livestock since 2000 after being disease free for over 40 years. Foot and mouth disease is endemic to African buffalo, but this is the worst bout to hit the farming industry with tens of thousands of cattle thought to be affected. The problem is you, since the end of 2019, uh, this is an escalation from there and currently it's in 116 facilities. And uh, what's also very worrying is uh, two new provinces that previously was not endemic are now affected. One of those facilities has 130,000 head of cattle. A 21-day ban has been placed on the movement of all cattle except those being slaughtered. Flouting of biosecurity regulations is mostly to blame for the outbreak. If you are, for instance, uh, have, you have a farm and your farm is infected, you've got to have to tell us how you got your farm infected. And that in itself is crime. The bigger plan is that all abattoirs, all feedlots are going to be then uh, monitored strictly going forward. The halt in movement could slow down the beef production and push up prices in the local market. Exports are likely to remain intact. 5% of beef produced here is sold to overseas markets. Currently, we are exporting to 26 countries, but it's bilateral agreements now because we don't have a foot and mouth disease free status uh, according to the OIE. We must turn this around and convince our trading partners that we have it under control, although it will take quite a while. South Africa, meanwhile, is stepping up efforts to improve safety of the animals. The country doesn't have uh, vaccines, so we do have a uh, little vaccines in our uh, on support uh, veterinary institute, but it's not enough. As you know, that institute is being revamped so that we can produce our own vaccine. And we should be able to vaccinate them, all of them, uh, like we would do with human as they would vaccinate against polio or measles. The outbreak is a major setback to South Africa's efforts to regain its disease-free status. But authorities are confident it can be achieved in the next two years.